Yo, what's good, YouTubers? It's your boy LB, and welcome back to my another tutorial video, guys. Today, let's talk about how to do this effect. So, guys, before we jump on an action. Let me know you have been a make subscribe to this channel like share and comment the second one just you have to upgrade your adobe after effect just go on your adobe creative crowd just upgrade your after effect just you have to download the after effect beta so now let's jump on and let's see how it is stick around So now here I'm in After Effect, and then this is how my clip is. Okay, let me guess. I'm a good actor. So now I'm going to import my 3D log. Okay, which I'm going to use. Double click here for opening. So double click here on lock. Okay. So if you don't have this 3D model lock, just you can go here on website. Okay. Just you can go here on this sketchfad.com then you have to download there is some different 3d stone just you can download any any stone you want or any lock you want so for example guys here if you just want to download this work just you have to click here on download 3d models and then guys you have to know this adobe after effect it receives three format which is our this one fbx and this is gltf and these glb you have to download one of them okay so now let me back here on after effect let me open up these 3d models then let me put it here on this after effect timeline okay as you see here this is my rock and then let me click okay so first of all i'm going to track the camera okay i'm going to track the camera where as you know this is how my camera moves it moves from front to back okay so i have to track where my stone it will be tracking with my clip so now i have to click here on this clip and then click here on this camera if you don't see this camera tracker just you can go here on window and then you enable this track okay so now i'll just you can go here on effect and then search the effect called camera 3d this one which is called 3d camera tracker so now let me drag it and then drop it here on this clip so you have to wait a little bit just a few seconds So when you are waiting for these the these after effect it counts the frames depends of how long your video is okay so you have to wait a few little bit it is better to use a short video it's done guys so let me first let me hide this this ready models just like this guys as you see here after tracking my camera i receive some many point which is on my frame as you see here this is my point which i'm gonna use so now the things i'm gonna do i'm going to take one point which i will be linked with my these 3d models so now let me find this one which is on flow because you know my stone it comes from down to up so let me let me use this one okay so just i can click here on it right click here on it and then click here on solid and camera guys as you see yeah there is some a small a small details which i receive here on this point okay it is a little bit a little bit just i think you see it okay so now i'm going to track the 3d lock with this track sorry if you're this track if you if you are this track point size is too small guys just you can come here to increase this point okay yeah that is it so now let me enable my rock this is 
this is how my rock is so first i have to link with this rock with with this track solid so i have to click here on this parent picky whip and then i have to combine with this tracking solid so when i play guys with in my grip you see how my stone is going with my camera so now the things i'm gonna do i'm going to use position scale and the rotation for animating this 3d lock okay so my 3d lock will start from down so i'm going to use a position so click here on this rock then click p on keyboard so now i have to move down my rock just like this okay So now I have to add the keyframe. Then let me jump some frames where my stunt will be up just like this. So now I have to pull up a stone where my eyes is looking on. So first let me try this animation. Let me see how it is. This is how my stunt will be okay so now I'm, this subject is gonna be hit this one from front to far away so and i have to add another keyframe here by using a position tool i have to add the keyframe here and then when my subject finishing to hit the stone so i have to put my stone away from my subject okay so when i play this is how it is yeah it's too fast it's too fast i have to move this key from here just like this yeah yeah this is cool yeah this is cool too okay so this is position animation so now i'm going to use the rotation when it is comes from down to up they have to rotate a small so now i have to click arrow on the on my keyboard and then i have to use this z rotation you see how my rock it will be rotating okay so now i have to come back here and i have to add the keyframe here okay so now let me comes where my stone it will be up just like this so now i have to rotate a little bit so when i pray my stone it will comes up when it is moving it is rotating okay so when i hit So this is where I'm going to use an scale because it will the scale will comes from too small to big okay so I have to start it by here when this subject is starting to hit this rock so I have to add key from here so when the rock is disappearing I have to increase the size just like this okay so let me back on my position for disappearing my rock okay this is cool so now let me try let me pray let me see how it is yeah guys this is cool so now as you see here guys this stone is not matching with my clip you see this stone it has the many details and it is very contrast so now i'm going to create a light by clicking right click here 
on this timeline then click here on new then click here on light so i have to choose a point and then click ok so when i open up this point i have to open up this light option so i, I can increase this intensity or you can decrease depends how your clip is looking so now after this so now i'm going to add some lumetri color on my footage as you see here guys this footage was shooted on s log settings so now let me add some lumetri color for increasing some contrast a lumetri color okay so uh, i drag this effect and then i drop it here on this footage so let me open up this basic correction i can increase some contrast just like this okay and the black so when i play this is how my effect there is yeah this is cool after these guys the last point so now you have to click here on toggle switches mode okay so now i have to enable this this motion blur on my rock okay so let me pray and the, let's see how it is yeah this is cool guys after this just you can download then a sound effect and then you put it on it you can put it on it or we by using just adobe premiere pro uh, if you want to add some other colors like cinematic colors just you can use premiere pro guys if you like my video i know this video is very helpful to you guys yeah i think it's not very complicated very uh, it's very easy so now thanks for watching subscribe yes as i said so now see you in next video and peace